Hi guys, it is Irene from Snatched SM here to do a tutorial video for you guys on how I do my radio frequency facials. So radio frequency facials are an amazing add to your menu. It is a 30 minute facial is how I do them. And it really is amazing at heating up the inner layers of the skin on your face and tightening fine lines. It is amazing for smile lines, forehead lines, and the little crow's feet we get as we age. As we know, um, as we get older, our collagen production slows down, which is why things start to, to sag um, and wrinkles start to appear and radio frequency helps combat that. So I'm going to use my own face and do a little example of how I do my radio frequency facials for you guys. Now, when dealing with an actual client, you always want to put a pair of gloves on. Gloves are absolutely necessary so you don't transfer any bacteria to your client's skin. Now you can choose however you want to move the client's hair out of their way. When they book a facial, remember for to tell them to come with no makeup because if they have heavy foundation on, like I'm not gonna be doing it on myself, I'm gonna be showing you guys. Um, if they have heavy foundation on, the heat will basically just melt it off and on top of it, that sticky foundation will get on your radio frequency wand, which you don't want. So when somebody books a radio frequency facial, tell them to come without makeup. Also, please keep in mind, they cannot do radio frequency facials if they have any metal implants, um, any screws in their jaw, anything like that. Um, if they are unsure if they can get it done, always consult, tell them to consult their healthcare provider prior to booking with you. So how you do a radio frequency facial, my client comes in, my client comes in without makeup and they go ahead and lay on the bed. When they're laying on the bed, I will go ahead and give them a headband to put their hair out of their way when I have them in stock. Sometimes they run out. And what you will do is apply ultrasound gel to their face. So let me show you here. You'll have them laying down, hair out of their way. Hair out of your way, I'm sorry. You'll get an ultrasound, uh, the ultrasound gel and you'll put about the size of a quarter onto your hand. You apply it all over the face with the exception of in the eyes, in the mouth, in the nose. Remember, do not go directly under the eye either. This skin here is much, much too thin for the radio frequency heat. Don't do that. Everywhere else, you're putting gel here, 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 and all around here. Okay, you wanna make sure there's a nice layer. Remember, don't drown them, but don't put a little bit either. There needs to be a decent layer um, so you can conduct the heat and protect their skin. The more you practice hands-on, the more you will um, get the hang of how much to put on there. Because if it is too much, if it's too little, you'll burn them. If it's too much, it'll get caught. Let me show you. It'll get caught within the tripolar wands and it'll spark which you don't want to happen especially when it's on a client's face so just make sure you don't have to overthink it make sure there's a thin layer covering all areas make sure there's no gaps with no gel okay your clients laying down they have their headband they have the gel then you're gonna go and put it on the tripolar setting. Now on most machines, this is labeled as the Face RF Probe. However, I do not use this for the face. It is much too big in my opinion to get into the crevices. I use my tripolar. So I will go ahead and make sure it's on the tripolar setting and have the energy bar up to about halfway. If it's a new client and I'm not sure how well their skin takes heat, I will leave it at about 50%. Um, and then adjust from there. If they feel like everything is totally okay and they hold the heat really well, you can always turn it up. Never leave it on too high um, for their skin. Also never do radio frequency for more than 45 minutes on one session. So you're gonna turn it to about 50%. Again, they'll be laying there with their headband, their gel, and what you're going to do is just make small circles along the face. What I do when I do my radio frequency facials is I do 20 minutes on the face itself and then 10 minutes on the chin. Now mine isn't on because again, this is just an example. When it is on, you see those, those red lights. What you're gonna do again is just small circles on the face. Again, I do 20 minutes on the face itself 
meaning I really focus here. They'll have their headband on, focus here. And then once those 20 minutes are up, you'll be doing the forehead as well. Once those 20 minutes are up, I spend the remaining 10 here. Now, radio frequency facials is something I do pretty frequently on myself. Again, it is amazing for those forehead lines, those crow's feet, and those smile lines. Remember, just little circles around the face. Do not go way directly under the eye, as again, this heat is way too much for this very thin layer of skin. You can get as close to that as possible, but not directly under the eye. Little circles. You're pulling up towards your lymph nodes. Remember, with the radio frequency wand, always keep it moving. Remember, these guys get really hot. So if you do not keep it moving, you can potentially burn your clients. There's no really need to go on the nose directly, so I never really do. My clients mostly come in for this section here, the smile lines, and then the forehead. So you just wanna make sure you are spending that 20 minutes moving the wand relatively fast, making sure there's gel and going in circles. Radio frequency facials are super easy and have amazing results, especially on my older clientele. Again, it is great at reducing those fine lines, just like with anything else, multiple sessions is recommended. You cannot do these sessions anymore any closer than 72 hours apart. I don't do any more than three facials back to back with a 72 hour gap in between then i recommend once a month for maintenance so that is the way i do my radio frequency facials i hope it helped i definitely recommend you getting that on your menu if not already please again make sure you're researching the legalities in your area and thanks for watching